People tell me every single day that they're never going to be able to afford a property in Calgary. Well, not anymore. So with increased government spending, rising interest rates, mass immigration, and a lot of relocation into Alberta from other provinces, it's led to a bit of a housing crunch with rising uh, property values, and it is becoming quite unaffordable. But I'm here to tell you that there are still areas of Calgary where you can find single-family homes under 500000 My name is Ryan Gillard, a real broker, your Calgary realtor. And in this video, I'll go over all of the areas in Calgary and the surrounding areas where you can still find affordable single-family homes. Let's go. So Calgary is becoming more expensive, but um, as I go through this, you'll quickly realize that there are still some pockets of Calgary that are fairly affordable. And so I have my back end system pulled up here. And I'm just looking at single family homes that have sold in Calgary, not the surrounding areas, within the past 90 days. I don't want to go back too far because the, the market's always changing. And I got a sales price of under 550,000 and there are 307 matches. So there's quite a few. I'm just going to pull them up here and bear with me my screen. It's a bit slow when I have my, uh, my screen recording on. So I'm just going to zoom out here. So the first region I'll talk about is just the, the inner city part of Calgary. You won't find that many sales here under 550,000. There are some though, as you can see, um, the ones that are selling uh, in this price range are typically very, very small properties on small lots or they're just land value and stuff like that. Um, so not too many, but I'll pull one up here so you can see what's happening. Here's one in um, Tuxedo Park, it looks like. This one sold for 430000 A 10-foot wide lot by 120 feet deep, so a very small lot. And a very small home, 736 square feet, built in 1914. So properties like this, they're only a certain clientele is looking for this. They're very small, and they usually require some work. Obviously, they're built in 1914. So you'll find stuff like this in the inner city, but um, typically there's not too much that's selling under 550 in this part of Calgary. Um, the next region I'll just kind of gloss over. The west side, you won't really find anything in this price range in the, on the west side. Like the average price here is almost 800,000. So that area, you're not gonna find too much. Um, Northwest Calgary is still fairly expensive as well. Not as expensive as the west side, but there are pockets um, where you will find some homes um, like in Edgemont, this little pocket over here by the shopping center, there are some affordable properties. I'll pull it up right here. Um, Edgeburn Crescent. I'm just going to pull it up here. So it's sold for 550,000, 1,200 square foot, two story, built in 1985. Three beds, one and a half bathrooms. Um, so you will see stuff like this in certain pockets of the Northwest, but not too many. Um, I've always found ranch lands to be the most affordable part of the Northwest. I'm surprised that I don't really see any here, but we do have a bit of an inventory crunch at the moment. Um, the next region of Calgary, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit further, is the North Central. You can see there's way more options in the North Central part of the city. And the North Central part can be good um, for, uh, for a few reasons. I get buyers tell me all the time, I don't want to live in Northeast Calgary over here. That's a bit of a stigma, but their price range might be in the Northeast part of the city. Um, so you get people who don't want to live here, but they will settle for stuff over here, like the Coventry Hills, Harvest Hills. It is newer, doesn't have the same stigma, and it's a bit nicer in my opinion than the Northeast part of the city. Not to be offensive, and just going over kind of like the reality that a lot of buyers who like that, I've had no issues with the Northeast. I've actually lived in there in the past, but I do find a lot of buyers are, are choosing this area versus the Northeast part of the city. And you'll find this is actually one of the highest, there, there's a huge number of sales in this part of Calgary. It, it, it fits, it ticks a lot of the boxes, lots of shopping over here, easy access to the airport, easy access to Deerfoot Trail, the Ring Road. Um, so you'll, you'll see a lot of people moving, buying and selling in this part of Calgary, huge sales activity. And I'll just, Pick one of these homes here. So this one sold for 532000 And this one is a four-level split. Now, four-level splits are a bit, uh, they're not as common as, like, so like say, bungalows or two-stories. This part of Calgary, you'll see a lot of two-story type properties. Um, so this is a 1,000 square foot, four-level split. 
Um, the square footage can be deceiving with four level splits because sometimes the third level is counted as above grade and sometimes it's not. Um, so I'll pick a different one. Maybe a two story is more common in this area. So this one sold for, um, wait a second here, 545,000, two story home, but then 2,000. 1,227 square feet. It's not a huge property, but again, a single family home, three bedrooms, one and a half bathrooms, finished basement. And some of these will have garages, some of them won't. Um, but you can see it's fairly affordable. And next up, I'll take you through the northeast part of Calgary, as well as the east side over here. And as you can see, there are properties all over this area under 550,000. It is the most affordable part of Calgary. And now if you're curious, I actually have a video specifically on the pros and cons of living in Northeast Calgary, which you can find by clicking the link below. And I'd say that you could break down this region into different sub-regions. And the first step would be um, the east side over here. So like the Forest Lawns, the Aaron Wood, stuff like that, this section right over here, would be like the oldest parts of this part of Calgary. And you get a lot of like the older bungalows with back alleys, like your thousand square foot bungalow with a back alley, double detached garage. And you can see the good price range under, under 550,000. Some of these are in the 400s. This is a bungalow built in 1970, 485,000, just under 1,000 square feet, the finished basements. And it looks like it has a garage as well. And uh, so these types of properties are all over this area. And moving along, actually one thing I should make a note of um, the area that I was filming for my intro was in Aaron Woods, this area right over here, if you're curious. And so moving north from this east part of Calgary, things get a bit newer. So Forest Lawn, maybe the 70s, then we get into like the, the Marlboros, the Rundles, the Whitehorns, uh, maybe it's like the 80s, so it's slightly newer. Um, similar kind of style of property though, you get a lot of like the bungalows, Again, with the big back, you have big double garages and back alleys and something like that, wide lots. Excellent for renting out the basement suites in this part of Calgary. So I'll pull up um, one of these properties here. Let's see, 535,000 in Whitehorn. Let's take a look here. Looks like a very Whitehorn type of property. Again, 535,000, 1,243 square feet. It's a four level split. Um, you will find these in bungalows throughout this part of Calgary. Three bedrooms, three full bathrooms, and has a garage as well. Let's say this is very common in this part of Calgary. Now, I find uh, Whitehorn, Rundle, Pine Ridge, Temple, even parts of the Marlboros, it all looks the same to me. Um, similar price range, similar style of home. Uh, if you didn't know any better, like you couldn't pick out what neighborhood they were in driving around unless you like were living there and very familiar with it. But very, very uh, similar in appearance this part of Calgary. And the last sub-region that I'll go over here would be the, the Castle Ridge, Martindale, Terradale, Falcon Ridge type of area. Um, this part of Calgary is very ethically diverse. It almost feels like a different country um, at times. And um, again, similar price range. Let's see here. It, it gets a bit newer though. So like the, this part of Calgary was like the 80s and now you're pushing like 90s, early 2000s in this part of Calgary. So I'll pull up a property here so you can kind of see what's going on. So this one uh, in Terradale, built in 2002, so it's a bit newer, uh, 1,500 square foot two-story. So as you get into the newer, like the, the properties around like the 2000s and up, you will see more two-story properties, but you will still find a lot of bungalows, four-level splits in this part of Calgary as well. Um, three bedrooms, two and a half bathrooms built in 2002, and... Um, that's just a good quick rundown of this part of Calgary. All right, so we've covered the northern half of the city. And just to summarize, if it were me, if so nasty, where would I live, given the choice? I would take you know the west side if, if you could find a property, but probably impossible. Then the northwest, then the north central, and then I would take the north central over the northeast. Just my opinion. Now you see this section over here, actually. And um, so just south of the northeast, I would take this pocket over this area as well. I'm just gonna zoom in here. So this area, this is mostly industrial over here, but there are two neighborhoods to talk about that are fairly affordable, and that's Riverbend, this neighborhood right here, which I like, I used to live there actually for about a year and a half. Um, it's a good normal area. It's, um, it, a lot of homes are backing onto the river, lots of parks around here, easy access to some good shopping centers as well. 
And I'll pull up a property here so that you can see it. So this one is a four level split, 910 square feet. Now again, that might be deceiving because the third floor might not be counted as square footage. Two beds, two bathrooms, um, again, 525,000. This area is approaching the point where you're not seeing that many homes under 550, but there are still a, a few options. Uh, more options in the Ogden area. And uh, Ogden can be good. There's actually a, a ridge that overlooks this valley right here. And uh, some of the properties have great views and it's not that expensive. And you've got easy access roads. You've got uh, Glenmore Trail, the Deerfoot. Um, I would consider this area over, over the northeast part of the city, just in my opinion. And I'll just pull up a typical Ogden type property. Um, so this one, it sold for 515,000, it's a buy level. So a buy level is like a bungalow, but you when you walk into the property, you walk up or down right away. That's typically how a buy level is. It's like a raised bungalow. 841 square feet, two beds, two bathrooms, and a lot of properties like this around the Ogden area. And last up, I'm gonna tackle the south part of Calgary. And before I get started, I also have a video specifically on the southeast section of Calgary. Um, and you can find that video by clicking the link that you see. And in that video, I cover everything from Ogden, Riverbend, Quarry Park, and this chunk of the city over here. In the future, I will do a, a south neighborhood and cover all of these. It is a giant area, so they're quite time consuming to make those videos, but eventually I will. And so I'll, I'll tackle this area and I'll start in the deep, deep, deep south. So Mahogany, Auburn Bay, you won't really find anything under 550. In the Cranston area, you can see these properties over here. Um, looks like they're all backing on to the Deerfoot Trail. So I like Cranston, it's a nice area, but I don't think I would consider living there if I was backing on to the freeway, just my opinion. Um, next up, we've got like the Copperfield, the new Brighton area. Um, you'll find the occasional property in here. I'll pull this one up so you can see it. And uh, one thing I should mention while this is loading is that South Calgary, the average price across all property types, so condos, duplexes, houses, is about five ninety. dollars So there's not going to be that many detached homes that are under five fifty, dollars but there are some like this one. This is a uh, bungalow, which you don't see that many in South Calgary these days in the newer areas. 1,000 square foot bungalow, two bedrooms, two bathrooms, and um, 545 so not bad. But again, you won't find that many properties like this in this deep south part of the city. Um, Mackenzie Town, you won't really find much. It looks like there's a couple options in here, but that would be fairly rare. In uh, Mackenzie Lake, as you can see here, um, this section of Mackenzie Lake is actually fairly affordable. And I'll pull up um, something like this here would be common in this north part of Mackenzie Lake. This is a two-story built in 1999, 1,324 square feet, three beds, one full bath, two half baths. And um, just in this pocket over here, if you go a bit west, these homes are actually quite expensive. This is a ridge overlooking the river. It gets quite pricey in there. And the next area, the Deer Ridge, Deer Run, Queensland. This is an area I actually grew up in. And I think it's a bit of a hidden gem. You can just see all the park space around here. Uh, very family friendly neighborhood, not all that expensive. Before COVID, you could find homes in here like 350, 400s, very affordable. Now it's getting a bit pricey. I'll show you one here in uh, Deer Ridge that sold. And to give you an example, I had a property listed for sale here a couple of years ago now. I think it was 2021, and it was about five. I think it was 550 and we couldn't give it away. It actually expired. It was very cluttered at the time. And eventually that seller, they moved everything out, became vacant. And I think it sold for like 650 a couple of years later. So that goes to show you what's happened to our market. Um, this one here built in 1977 in Deer Ridge, 550,000 was the sales price, 1,095 square feet, three beds, one bath. And the thing about this part of Calgary, there's usually not that many listings. So you see three sales here, but that's usually because there's not much inventory in this part of the city. But I do think it's a bit of a hidden gem. This part of Calgary, for the most part, you're not gonna see many homes that are selling under 550, but it looks like there are some options here, but it's rare. Like I think 
most of these properties would be over 600, 700s nowadays. Um, I'll pull this up in Haysboro. This one sold 550, a bungalow built in 1958, thousand square feet, three beds, one bathroom. And again, this would be rare. I, I would say most of these properties would be in the 600s now starting. And the last section I'll cover is the deep south here. Um, I didn't think there would be this many options, to be honest. Um, usually, like, um, Shaughnessy might have a couple options that are, for, that are fairly affordable, but I'm surprised to see so many in Evergreen. Like, I have a buyer right now looking for Evergreen, and they want you know, a front-attached garage, two-story, and everything is, like, 650 or higher. Um, so I'm a bit surprised to see so many options. But I'll show you an option here in Evergreen, which is a very popular neighborhood. It is a bungalow built in 2004, sold for 550,000, 1,000 square feet, one bedroom above grade, two and a half bathrooms, with a walkout basement. Um, I'll show you some of the photos here. So it doesn't look like a very big property. Kind of dated. But this gives you an idea. Um, this area, generally speaking, should be out of the 550 price range, but there are some options here and there. And the last home I'll show you here is uh, 136 Summercrest Manor, so the neighborhood of Somerset. And this one is a two-story built in 1994 with a front-attached garage and 1,468 square feet, so a decent size, three bedrooms, Three full bathrooms, one half bathroom. All of this for five twenty-eight. That's actually a, a fairly good price, and it sold September the first, so very recently as well. Um, so there are options like this around Calgary, um, if you know where to look. And uh, actually, I'll briefly talk about some of the surrounding towns. I'll do probably separate videos on this, so I'll just kind of go over it real quick. So I've included Airdrie, Okotoks, Cochrane, Strathmore, Chestermere. Um, Crossfield, and there were about 129 sales. And I'll just pull up this one here. Um, your money does go definitely, a, it goes a bit further in some of these areas. So this one's in Strathmore. It's sold for 541,000, but it's in the, uh, the Hillview Estates area, which is a nice part of Strathmore. It is a uh, buy level with a front attached garage. Quite a big buy level too, 1,248 square feet. It's a large bungalow or buy level. Three beds, three full bathrooms, a walkout basement. And a walkout basement on its own can typically add like $30,000 to the sales price. So I'll just show you some of the photos of this property in Strathmore. So that's the external shot. Here's the outdoor shot. You can see the walkout basement. Looks like a fairly large lot. Nice backyard. Yeah, definitely a big uh, uh, deck, good sized basement. And you get the idea, just your money goes a bit further. If you're okay commuting, um, Calgary to Strathmore might be half an hour, uh, 40 minutes maybe, but there's also other options like Airdrie, Okotoks, Cochrane, stuff like that. Well, there you have it. That's my rundown of the most affordable parts of Calgary. Now, all four quadrants of Calgary, they're all quite different. So if you have any questions at all about Calgary or the surrounding areas, feel free to reach out and I can easily help you out. Call, text, email, or comment. I will get it and get back to you. And I've also got some free resources in the written description or the pinned comment, a buyer's guide, a seller's guide, and a relocation guide. Again, feel free to reach out. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next video.